because our next guest is making waves online with some daring doggy do's. Gabriel, can you hear the music? I just I want Gabriel yes. to dance. I want dance. you to dance. Want, you like to dance? We have fun here on Good Day. Yeah, we're always dancing. Go on, dance. Yes. Yay. Yay. That's Gabriel Fitzgerald, a dog grooming artist. Hey, question, have you ever made a dog or turned a dog into a milkshake? Nobody have done it on marshmallows. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, very Pretty nice. close. <laughs> good times, good times. All right, this ladies and gentlemen, great. this is uh, Gabriel Fatosa. He's out in San Diego. He owns a pet salon, but he was also on ABC's Perfect Pooch, and oh, he did some okay. creations with that. Can you tell us about your experience on the show? Um, well, being on 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 the show was something like completely out of reality for a kid that was growing up, you know, in the slums of Brazil. So. When I started doing this, not a lot of people understood when I said that I really wanted to do dog grooming and most people were like, why don't you go to school or do something else? Oh. But, you know, I getting on the show, it wow. was really like a huge stepping stone coming from there and believing that I could do this and being on TV and it was amazing. That's you know? wonderful, wonderful. All right, so the paint is non-toxic. And it, yes. it lasts for a while because, you know, if you, when you're shaving the dog, usually you're working with the dogs that have longer hair that grows out fast, right? Like poodles and maybe yeah. schnauzers or something, right? Yeah, it all, it all depends that we can do it in short-coated dogs too. When you're doing short-coated dogs, it lasts much longer. Yeah. So it's all about how much the owner wants to commit because the short-coated dogs, it all depends on their own natural renewal. These dogs, the poodles and doodles, the hair just grows like ours. It grows forever and it just keeps getting longer and longer. So if you're doing a long coated dog, in two months to four months, when you trim the dog, it's all gone. Now, but in the short coat, dogs last a long time. I mean, sure, when people see the, these dogs, they, they have a different reaction, but oh, are, are, are the dogs, what do they think? I mean, I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't know, but is, does it make a difference? <laughs> are they like, oh, there's a blue dog, there's a yellow, look, a Pikachu. Honestly, oh honestly, they don't care. Oh. I've, I've thought about it, you know, when I did, when I did a leopard print or a tiger print on a dog, I was like, oh, I wonder if another animal will recognize this as something wild. Yeah. But no, they really don't care. I don't think they recognize what shape they look like or the other one looks like. I think they go a lot by the scent. So they... It doesn't change anything in the dog park. How booked out <laughs> are you right now? Um, we're pretty booked up. Yeah, around two or two, three months ahead mm -hmm. yeah. for sure. But I only do the creative stuff now. But, you know, the shop, we do all the all the everything. Okay, yeah. so how long, let's say, let's say if I brought my, uh, my poodle in, how long would it take you? Hours? How many hours would it take you? to create maybe no, a tiger or something. We, we always ask for two, three to four hours for every haircut and that including for dyes. Okay. Because we don't keep the dog in the table the whole time. You know, like sometimes they get a bath and we give, give it a break and we can take out to potty. And it all depends on each individual, individual dog. A small dog like this, I can get a creative grooming done in about two and a half to three hours. <laughs> but it all depends really of uh, uh, the dog and the behavior Aww. and the hair. Gabriel, I'm assuming you have so much fun, especially during uh, Halloween. What is the craziest thing you've done? Yeah. I mean, I think one of the craziest things I've done was uh, a, the dog of the premiere of the show, which was a fish eating a dog. <laughs> this <laughs> is a design that has stuck with me for a long time. And I, I want to tattoo it eventually because it was something that looked very cool and wild. And I remember walking on the street and people were like, sir, the dog is, the, the fish is eating your dog. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and on Halloween, yeah. do you ever color your hair to match your dogs? I don't look good at colored hair, but I do put some like color paste on that. Okay. That all depends. <laughs> all depends on what I'm going for. Uh, very fun. Very fun. Well, Gravy, uh, thanks for sharing all of your fun creations mm -hmm. with us this morning. It's been so uh, entertaining and, uh, you know, enlightening mm -hmm. to see these these dogs in these uh, fun creations that you made. So. <laughs> <laughs> you got well-behaved doggies there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's a, she's a puppy. She's a little wild. Oh. She's not that well-behaved. She's faking it. <laughs> oh, look at that. So how can people follow you on TikTok and Instagram? Instagram. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram with the same handle as Gabriel Fitos of Grooming. All right, sounds good. All Best right. wishes to you. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Have a good day. I love that he danced too. <laughs> Let's get all the Zoom guests to, to, to dance. dance. We Love should. it. All right, we'll be right back. We should.